Hi everyone. Well, as you can see, after a two week break, we are open in a new place and I can start filming videos again. Well, anyway, if you haven't been by, our new location is at 267 Beach Road, so feel free to drop by anytime. Because of the school holidays, we are going to do more picture books today. So to start off with, we have this, one of our new picture books, Uncle Daniel's favourite colour. So this book is to teach uh, children about people who are different. So in this case, Yusuf, he's given a class assignment to find out his family's favourite colour. So he goes around asking his mom, his dad, but then he's afraid to ask Uncle Daniel because he's blind. But Uncle Daniel explains to him that even though I'm blind, I can use my other senses to see colour as well. So things like the doormat, when he touches it with his feet, he knows that it's brown because he was told by uh, the others that it's brown. Yeah. So a good book to teach kids about people who are different but actually not really that different from us. And next up we have another new one. What if the wind tears my kite? So in this one, it's about a boy who's kind of afraid of going out. He's not that comfortable and everything but one day he comes across a kite while he's out cycling in the forest and he loves the kite so much he repairs it they become good friends but then one day when he's out again the wind is blowing very strongly and he wants to fly the kite but he's afraid that what if the kite gets blown away so in the end the kite does get blown away but it teaches the boy about learning how to become more independent and more strong and be able to stand up by himself and then finally, like I mentioned before, book two of uh, Just a Little Minor is out. So in this one, Makan Mischief. The miner is meeting a family for lunch, but every day they just eat the same fishball noodles and they don't know how to order from the other stalls. So miner goes with them to visit the Chinese stall where he helps them order food in Mandarin. Then when he visits the Malay stall, he helps them order the food in Malay. And finally, the Indian store, he helps them order food in Tamil. So similar to the first book, this one will teach kids more phrases in other languages and expose them to different cultures as well. That's all we have for today. Do drop by if you haven't been here. We hope to see you. Take care, stay safe and enjoy the school holidays. Bye-bye.